Hey, what's up? It's Why Ghost Hoops, and today we're going to be talking about Zion Williamson and John Morant. We're just 27 games into the NBA season, and right now the Pelicans and the Grizzlies are atop at the 1-2 and two seed with a record of 18-9. and nine. The West is very tightly packed right now. Besides winning basketball, these two teams have also been one of the two best teams to sit down and watch. Zion Williamson this year is averaging 25 points per game, 7.3 rebounds, and 4.3 assists with a field goal percentage of 61% and true shooting percentage of 65.2. The Pels just had a seven-game win streak while Brandon Ingram was out most of the time that got snapped by the Utah Jazz. Zion in that win streak played like the most dominant force in the paint ever, better than Shaq, Giannis, Hakeem, Wilt, anyone you name it. In that win streak, they played the Suns twice. During that, it was can't miss basketball. The first game was hard fought but ultimately ended with a not so needed but very electric 360 windmill dunk by Zion Williamson. The second game was also hard fought but it went into overtime where the Pelicans won again. Zion had 35 in both games on ridiculous efficiency. For Jaw, on the other hand, he averages 27.7 points per game, 6.6 rebounds, 7.8 assists, all career highs for him this season. Field goal percentage, 45.8%. Three-point percentage, 35.5. John Morant plays like it's his last game every single night. He's got that dog in him that's unmatched by anyone. Maybe Jimmy Butler, maybe Michael Jordan, but not many after. I might say Pat Bev, but honestly, that's mostly just a joke. I mess with him, though. John Morant wows the league with his crazy handles, flash-like speed, dunks and layups that make you wonder if the game is even real. John Morant has to be the most entertaining player in the game, Memphis just had the return of Triple J, Jaron Jackson Jr., who just had eight blocks the other night, and Desmond Bain, who looks like the most improved player this year. The Grizzlies are the type of team that will make you work. They have amazing depth in their roster, and they will make sure that you have their game circled on your calendar. Both the Pels and the Grizzlies seem like they could be contending for a title this year because of their superstars that were picked back-to-back 1-2 -back and two in the 2019 draft. Today, we will look at historical 1s and 2s drafted side-by-side -side and see how John and Zion match up in comparison. In my opinion, the top 5 1s and 2s picked today in NBA history start the list at number 5 is 1981's draft. Mark Aguirre first, Isaiah Thomas second. Mark Aguirre throughout his career averaged 20 points per game with 3.1 assists and 5 rebounds. Isaiah Thomas throughout his career averaged 19.2 points per game on 9.3 assists with 1.9 steals. Together, their resumes include one Hall of Fame induction, which was Isaiah Thomas, 15 All-Star games, two championships while they were both on the same team, five All-NBA appearances, and one Finals MVP. Number four on the list is the 1990 draft. Derek Coleman was picked first, then second Gary Payton. Derek Coleman's numbers were 16.5 points per game, 1.3 blocks, and 9.3 rebounds per career. Gary Payton's numbers was 16.3 points per game, 6.7 assists, and 1.8 steals. Together, their resumes include one Hall of Fame induction, which was Gary Payton, 10 All-Star games, 11 All-NBA teams, 9 All-Defensive teams, one Defensive Player of the Year, and one NBA championship, and that was Gary Payton. At number three on the list is the 1968 draft. First overall was Elvin Hayes, second overall was Wes Unseld. Elvin Hayes averaged 21 points per game on his career with 12.5 rebounds and 2 blocks. Wes Unsold had 10.8 points per game, 14 rebounds, and 3.9 assists. Together, they both made the Hall of Fame, had 17 All-Star games, 1 NBA championship, 7 All-NBA teams, 2 All-Defensive teams, 1 MVP, 1 Finals MVP. Number 2 on the list is the 1992 draft. Shaquille O'Neal was picked first overall, very similar to Zion though the number two pick in this draft was Alonzo Mourning, not at all like John Morant. Shaq in his career averaged 23.7 points per game, 2.8 blocks, and 10.9 rebounds. Alonzo Mourning averaged 17.1 points, 2.3 blocks, and 8.5 rebounds. Both of them made the Hall of Fame. They had 22 All-Star games under their belt, 16 All-NBA selections, 5 All-Defensive teams, 2 Defensive Players of the Year, four championships, one of them being on the same team in 2006 with the Heat, and three finals MVPs all by Shaq. Number one on the list is the 1960 draft with Big O and Jerry West. Oscar Robertson averaged 25.7 points per game, 7.5 rebounds, and 9.5 assists. Jerry West averaged 27 points per game, 5.8 rebounds, and 6.7 assists. Both of them made the Hall of Fame easily, 26 All-Star games under their belt, 
23 All-NBA selections, five All-Defensive teams, one Finals MVP, two championships, one MVP, being Oscar Robertson. After all of that, I decided to create a graph. This graph shows the total statistical adage of each group of players to show how Zion and Ja match up against their competition. I took each five of the stat categories and combined them together for both players, added it up, and got the TSA stat. This doesn't prove anything, but I think it's a valuable thing to look at just for fun. In 1981, Isaiah Thomas and Mark McGuire put up 63.4 TSA, which is actually higher than 1990s group Derek Coleman and Gary Payton, who only put up 59.3, though I kept them ahead because I think that Derek Coleman and Gary Payton are a better overall collective than Mark McGuire and Isaiah Thomas. In 1968, they put up 68.7 TSA. This shows a huge jump from 1981 and 1990 to 1968's draft class there, but not as much as 1992's Shaquille O'Neal and Alonzo Mourning, who tallied a total of 70, just beating out Elvin Hayes and Wes Unseld. Then in 1960, the number one team on the list, Oscar Robertson and Jerry West, put up a total of 86.8, which completely blew out the rest of the list. Now that you have an idea of that, I decided to tally up Zion and Jaws' small sample size of a career totals and career averages to get a 72.4 TSA, which would rank them second on the list for first and second picks in an NBA draft, just behind Oscar Robertson and Jerry West, and just above Shaquille O'Neal and Alonzo Mourning. Though they have a lot more accolades to achieve, I think that they could possibly take the number one spot one day. They have a lot of work to do and a lot of catching up. But honestly, Zion and Ja are special. Ja's got the most heart I've ever seen in a player. So much passion. And same with Zion. He can't stop smiling when he gets on the court. You know when he's about to go off because he just starts doing it. And he does it often. They both do. So honestly, if I had to choose my projection for the future, I think that they'll pass Oscar Robertson and Jerry West and be the best first and second pick in an NBA draft ever. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and have a good one.